Hi guys, just an update on my Nixie clock project. Um, here we're going to go over how far we've gone, what we've done, and what's, what's left to do. So as you can see right now, it's uh, 1537 or 337. We're using military time format. You can get a glance at the four tubes on the back side, and here they are. The 216 are a day countdown. And basically this is an anniversary clock slash wedding clock, however you want to call it. Basically it will count down to the 216 days till the event and then from that day forward it'll count up. So um, the way the date is set in the back right now is hard coded. Well, I might be changing that later but for now it's a hard coded date in the code. Um, as far as hardware goes, we'll start with what's on the outside. So we'll start on the very left. Uh, the Arduino Mega is actually used purely to supply, as you can see, the 5 volt to my board over here. And here is the brains of the operation. Sorry for the focus. This is an Atmega 328P. The entire program is set up in this thing. And as external peripherals, we'll call them, we have an RTC over here and all that's left over here is a 180 volt power supply for the Nixie tubes. The rest of the brains are really already in the box and I'll open it up for you. And we have a board under here and I'll show you what the board looks like in a minute. And that board controls the six tubes and has a ribbon cable going to each. You can see actually two ribbon cables going to each. You can see them right here. And then we have two more boards over here. And those two boards each control two tubes. And they're the tubes over here. So basically the whole clock is actually controlled uh, via shift registers. And um, the three connections come out here. The first one goes and controls the entire clock. Second and third one control two digits each. So my boards actually look like this. I'll bring one out right now. I have spares. Here's the first one. And um, let's flip it around so we can see it. This basically is the board that controls the entire clock. Let me flip it around. And basically we get a 180 volt power supply here. These are the shift registers. And each shift register controls two ICs over here which are K155ID1s which are Nixie tube controllers so each one of these controls one tube and then the connections are here for all six tubes so that's actually a full board uh, for a clock for or for six tubes and all you really need to control this is um, to be able to control a shift register or in this case three I should say and the inputs basically come in on the bottom left over here which are your clock pins, your latch pins, your data pin, 5 volt and ground and again the 180 volt is on the bottom right so that's my clock board and then I have these little boards over here and um, let's see if I can get focus on that here we go and this board basically uh, is designed to control two Nixie tubes you can mount them either with tubes on top or tubes on bottom and the library can handle both and it's the same thing you have the interface for your shift register which is in the middle and your shift register one controls two K155 ID ones and again this time on the bottom left is your 180 volt connectors so this is the boards um, I'm waiting on one more which is design, which will take basically uh, my RTC and my Atmega. It will replace this 180 volt control, uh, power supply and it'll create my 5 volt power supply so obviously I can get rid of the Arduino Mega. And that's it guys. Thanks.